All right, what's up YouTube? Um, back again, going to be installing uh, HID headlight in uh, Yamaha WR450 dirt bike. This one here is a uh, 2003 model. And just give you guys a quick install guide on how to do it. Should be pretty much the same for most all dirt bikes, I imagine. This one here is a H4 bulb. So, I don't know, your guys might be a different size bulb, but the process should be pretty much similar for most dirt bikes with a headlight on them, I would think. Uh, first thing we got to do, remove a uh, couple bolts. Got one here. Got a screw down here we got to remove. And again on this side, got to remove this one here, this bolt here. So I'll remove them and I'll check back with you in a minute. Alright, here the uh, standard headlight is before the HID bulb. Um, HID bulb I'm putting in is a uh, 35 watt 8000K. So here's just the uh, stock bulb. I got those three bolts out as you can see and now this cover just pops open here and then you got the uh, you got the headlight harness right there and then you just undo that connector right here I'll just undo that pull the bulb out then I'll uh, put the new bulb in and hook that up and figure out where we're gonna mount the uh, HID harness and stuff so I'll give you a look at the HID bulb and stuff we got the bulb here with the foam on it still. Um, these plug in here, and this will plug in the harness. And this here plugs into your uh, factory harness, I imagine. That's what this is for. So I don't know. I'll figure that out once I get to it. But all right, check back in a minute once I get the bulb out. All right, guys, here's uh, what I found out. Ran into a couple of problems here with the HID. First off, the back of the normal bulb has this round piece on it that fits through the rubber grommet. So it fits nice and snug and tight and waterproof. The new HID one is thin, so I'm gonna have to do something there, probably silicone it to uh, make it so water doesn't enter into the headlight. Um, second thing, I got the bulb going to the wires, going to the uh, ballast. I just got it laid out so you guys can see it now. And then the ballast comes down here and connects to your factory headlights. These two little tabs here. But anyway, second problem is when I fire up the bike, the uh, headlight, it doesn't go on all the way. It sits there and uh, flickers. So I got to figure out, I'm probably not getting enough voltage to it or something is what I'm guessing. I can show you guys quick here as long as it doesn't fall off the bike. I just left the foam on it for now just until I figure out what's going on. Um, here, I'm going to fire it up. tell it's uh, flickering but I'll do some uh, research and figure out how to fix it and then I'll uh, get back with you guys after a little while okay later okay hey everybody I found out uh, part of the problem I guess after uh, posting uh, posting on thumpertalk.com and they said the WR450 the headlight runs on AC current whereas the battery is DC and the uh, HID needs DC current so you gotta actually wire it right into the battery. So here's how I'm gonna wire it in. I've got my positive wire coming off of here 
And this is only a temporary setup to test if it works. Going into a 30 amp fuse holder, just an inline fuse holder. Comes over to the supply part of the toggle switch. Okay. And then I come out, oop, where come out? But come out from the supply with the power. Okay, this is all still power. Comes out into your ballast and goes into the power on the ballast. And then the negative on the ballast, I just come out and around to the negative on the battery. And I'll show you that it works here. Um, let me just hook this wire up here. Give me one second here. Okay, I got that little wire back in there now. And I'll flip the toggle switch and you'll see the bulb will come on. Here, watch. Toggle switch on and the bulb's on. Flip the toggle switch off. So now all I gotta do is, uh, oh, wire come off again. God damn it. But anyways, this is only a temporary setup to make sure it works. So now what I'm gonna do is uh, extend the wires from the battery so I can mount the ballast and everything and toggle switch up here somewhere. And I'll figure that out after a minute, but I gotta remove the gas tank and everything first, so. Check back with you after I get all that done. Okay, back again. So I'm in the process of uh, extending the harness and I'll show you what I'm doing so far. Uh, I got the positive coming off of the battery right here, going into my fuse holder, which then runs down through here, through the battery housing plastic crap. Then I uh, spliced it right here. I don't know if you can see it there. Spliced it right here. And the red wire is what I spliced into it. So that's going from the power to the battery. Through here along the frame. Up between the radiator and the frame here. And then it comes out here in the front of the radiator. And it goes up here and into the uh, goes into the supply on the uh, which is the bottom one here as you can see goes into the supply on the toggle switch and then now I'm coming out with the load into the ballast okay and then I'll run uh, and then I'll run the ground which I'm also using red wire but I'll know the difference. I'll put uh, electrical tape on it, so I know. But anyway, so I'm going to run that all the way back to the negative on the battery. And then, if you want uh, the, if you want the little light to come on on the LED, you also run one from the earth, from this little post here. You run that back to the battery too, and then the LED will turn on, so you know when the light's on or off. So that's what I'm working on now, and then I'm going to. Uh, fab a uh, mount for the ballast and uh, the LED switch right on here. I'm going to try and get uh, bolts and go with a piece of metal from here and then have it raise up and then mount the switch on top of it right, right in here somewhere. So I'll check back here with you. Got a little bit more work ahead of me so I'll keep you posted. Okay I got all my uh, wires run. Got two going to the negative, one going to the positive. All of them running here along the frame, the black and the two reds. Coming over around here. And I got my three connectors to go to the uh, toggle switch. And then uh, I'm going to mount my switch right here. I took these little connectors off. I'll put them on after I'm done. But I made up my bracket right here. Toggle switch will go in there. And this, I'm just going to... Uh, hold on. I'm going to bolt it right in here like this and then just mount the toggle switch on top. So I'll show you what that looks like once that's done. And here's the toggle switch there. And the other thing I was having problems with earlier when I started the video I showed you that the uh, headlight bulb wasn't quite the same style. So I took and I uh, got a piece of radiator hose and 
cut that in half and then trimmed it for the right height. And then I put uh, silicone on here so there won't get any uh, water inside the headlight or anything. I know, looks like crap, but I don't care. Just keep the water out, then I'll be happy. About drop the camera. All right, later. Okay, here are the uh, LED switches hooked up and mounted. And here I'll show you it works. There we go. Here's a view of the uh, bracket. A couple of bolts holding it in there. And I'll get everything mounted and put back together. And then uh, we'll see how it looks. Should look good. Okay, here it is all done, put together. 